Why? I don't know if I can do this one. Why? Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the fields. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you and me. I'll stay here for as long. Storms and through the calm. When you smile at me, I slowly begin to realize that you are the one. Tornovo. In today's episode, we're tasting Bulgarian traditional food. If you're new to the channel, this is April. Hi. And I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell. That way you're notified every week. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. Without you, I'm a lonely tree. Lost in faith And what's an island without a sea For you, I'll hold the way But I will sneak a note in your pocket And I'll leave with your smile in my mind How do you say the name of the restaurant? Bulgarian. Yes, yes. Bulgarian. Tihia uh, Kut. It's a homemade rakia and a chardonnay. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. If we seem a little off today, it's because April and I are both sick. We've been sick for like, off and on for like five days now. And then, so real quick, what do we get for our soups here? We have, which one is this one? That's the pork. This is the pork soup? Yeah. And this is the, the stew. stew. And the bean stew. I got yours and you got mine, but I figure we're gonna try oh, okay. both. And that's why we're always sick. Oh, this is good though. This one is, it's a uh, really hearty. It's got, uh, it's like a cream base. That definitely has a cream base. This does? It looks like tomato. Well, tomato creamy. Oh yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's good. It's got lots of beans, tomatoes. You want some bread? So, not sure. I hadn't had this kind of bread yet. It's like a pita that's like, like grilled and yeah. garlic. Oops, sorry. It's like yummy breadsticks. Yeah. Hey, we're over here. Look at this. I'm not sure if that bacon's raw or not. It's definitely cold, and I would normally cook this at home. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know if I can do this one. Why? Don't eat it then. No, I am. I'm gonna try it. Well, I'm gonna have some of the cabbage, but it... Okay. Are you, are you not sure of the bacon? Well, you know, I'm kind of weird about bacon. And look. You're weird about all meat. What? So it's like pickled cabbage. And I'm not sure how you eat this bacon because 
I'm assuming it's cured. I hope it's cured. Wayne's <laughs> paranoid. I've been to a lot of countries and ate a lot of food that didn't agree with me for several weeks afterwards. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to eat this bacon. Have a nice. I don't think they would serve it if people got sick off of it. But we are foreigners. Well, right. Um, when you're in a different country, you got to go ahead and try something, even if it's weird. When I was in Korea, I tried at least one bite of everything, and some of it was really hard to do. <laughs> I really like the cabbage. Yes, the cabbage is really good. Did you try to bite some of the bacon? I haven't. You're going to be brave enough to do it? What you think? They go well together. They complement each other well. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't make me inclined to eat more of it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad I can't do the bacon part. Yeah, I like the cabbage. The bacon? It's weird. My American mind cannot get it wrapped around this one. Because I'm the guy that takes bacon and you crisp it up. It's got to be crispy bacon. I'm not the rubbery bacon. Meat. Yeah, that's true too. Just about. Now the grape rock is definitely sweeter than the plum rakia that I had when we were in Bosnia. Oh, no, wait, wait, Slovenia. Oh, wait, I had Slovenia and you had it in... I had it everywhere. Romania. Can I try it? Yeah. Don't mind that face. It's actually pretty smooth. It's like, not smooth. It's like, it's like when they, when if they kerosene say in, was smooth. That's like. Uh, it is smoother. It is smoother than the stuff we had in Romania. That you had in Romania. I will give it that. No, I was thinking about the one we had the uh, in Montenegro when we were eating dinner. At Bruno, this is his birthday today. Thank you very much. I love America. Nope. God bless America. God, God bless America. <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful kerosene. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Still <laughs> <laughs> Oh no 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 no. no. She, she's, she's, she's 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 my good. Birthday. <laughs> good. <laughs> you know me, Kimber. You know how they said in our place, you came on two legs, so it, that means that you yes. have to take two at least. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm drinking hers too. Oh yes. <laughs> I can only drink so much of it. It's strong. It's strong. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday, Bruno. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bruno. God bless of America. That. That was couture. Little, yeah, couture. That's their version of rakia, and that that probably takes the cake as far as being the most kerosene-like. Yeah, yeah. And this and the stuff in Romania maybe was a little more smooth than that, and this is a little more smooth than the stuff in Romania. Well, the Romania wasn't rakia. Yeah, it was. Mm. Oh, it was uh, palinka, which is their version of rakia. No, it doesn't taste the same. Really? No. Oh, I could have sworn it was... It's definitely made different. Oh. Ask the alcoholic. Right. No. <laughs> this is basically their version of Tennessee with uh, moonshine. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button. Share it with a friend. And like always, thank you for living life.